this government has moved very, very quickly, as I said. It's upset an awful lot of people along the way, um, if you go by news media coverage. But if you also look at the way in which the polls are going at the moment, nobody seems to be particularly upset that wasn't upset just by the election. In fact, in the latest Taxpayer Curious poll that's published over the weekend, uh, the centre-right parties have increased their support in this country over the centre-left. Um, one of the reasons might be because they are actually doing something. Um, and one of the things that they are doing is fast-tracking a whole series of projects uh, throughout New Zealand, uh, mostly linked to water, in actual fact, um, that will create infrastructure uh, for New Zealand and deal with um, what are perceived as being some of our shortcomings. Uh, they relate to anything from energy plans and hydroelectric schemes, uh, minor or major, uh, through to irrigation works uh, and the construction of dams uh, for irrigation purposes primarily, um, through to doubling New Zealand's exports. Uh, and in that infrastructure program announced by the Prime Minister at the end of last week was the stated aim to increase or double the number of exports over the next 20 years uh, from this country. Now, that's going to re require, obviously, irrigable land. It's obviously going to require some sort of sympathetic agricultural policy. And obviously, he sees most of our exports still as coming from the primary sector. Um, but one of those, obviously, projects is on the Waitaha River, which if you've ever been to the West Coast, you'll know it gets a lot of rain. Whenever I read out um, the news, or sorry, the weather every hour on the show, every day, Monday to Friday, um, it's invariably either has rained, is raining, or is about to rain uh, on the West Coast. And so they get an awful lot of water. And they've been thinking for a long time, it'd be a really good idea to do something with that awful lot of water instead of watching it flow through rather wild rivers out to sea. Uh, to join us to talk about this, because the infrastructure announcement really does affect her citizens in a big way, and the West Coast in general, is the Mayor of Westland, Helen Lash, and she joins us now. Helen, welcome to the show. Lovely to have you on again. Thank you, Michael. Nice to be back. Um, Hokitika, that's the basis of your thing, isn't it? It's the your capital of your... Baby it's the capital it right? of my we western... It's the capital of my western region, yes. Yeah. And so you've got Hokitika south, so you go th th down to Haas. Do you take in Fiordland as well? No, Fiordland's uh, over, the, over the border from us. We go down to Jackson's Bay. We actually go just down uh, just south of Jackson's, Jackson's Bay. And then... And up to the Tarnacow right? Bridge... Up to the Chamacow Bridge between us and Grey, yep. And Grey is and the up. next one, and that that, yes. that centre is Grey Mouth. Yes. Now that's got a, um, a a female mayor too, hasn't it? Yes, it does. Tanya Gibson. Yes. That's right, Tanya. And then the next, and then Buller is Buller. the district yes. above. Yes, right? that's correct. And that's got Jamie Jamie Klein to mayor there. Yes. So there's the three of you along the West Coast, those are the districts, and then you've got that yes. overlaid by the West Coast or Westland District, a regional council too. Regional council, yep. West Coast yep. Regional Council, that's correct, yep. And we've talked yep. about it being probably the most over-governed area in New Zealand, but nevertheless, <laughs> that's what you've got. We have, <laughs> and that's what we've got, you're being right, and we've got to go with it at the stage. All right, no, fair enough. Um, listen, Waitaha Hydro Power, just explain to us what is the Waitaha Hydro Scheme to start with. It's a natural uh, resource of water that can be captured. Uh, and, and when I say captured, there's no dam or storage lake with this. It's a small weir that would be created. Um, this is something that Electronet or West Power uh, put forward as a proposal quite some years ago now to the government uh, as a way of generating enough power to supply up to about 12,000 homes. So it's in a natural, beautiful environment, which, of course, as you can imagine, gets, you know, a bit of angst. Um, but with no dam, no storage lake, and just a small weir, you're not actually obstructing the natural environment that's there. You're capturing a natural resource. And as you said in your intro, you know, we do get rain on the West Coast, um, and, and it's an abundance in that area. So um, it's a natural source of producing um, a lot of energy and creating carbon emission offset as well. I've always sort of, that's a sort of a mini dam. You're holding the, the, the water up that's coming down the Waitaha yeah. River, I'm assuming. Is that right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so a weir doesn't dam. A weir is just a small break in the system so that um, water <coughs> will still flow, but it holds the, the maximum content back um, as in a reservoir, but the water can still flow forward. 
You're not right. releasing the gates to release overspill of water. Uh, so um, it's going to generate electricity for 12,000 people and I guess jobs as well, actually, just in the construction. Homes. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Um, and where where is Waitaha? So in, is it in your bailiwick, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So Waitaha is um, just south of Ross. Right. Uh, gotcha. And north of, of um, Hari Hari. So um, it's quite a quite a, a long valley that goes back into the mountains. Um, and the rainfall back in that mountain void is um, is, is pretty intense. Uh, of course, it's the further you move up, why the hasn't the, rain. the weir progressed before now? What's held uh-huh. up what seems very common sense project? <laughs> does seem common sense, but common sense doesn't all prev- always prevail, does it, Michael? We know that well. Um, why hasn't it progressed in the past? Um, the sentiment, you know, the green, and I will say the green sentiment, it's, it's how else do you put it? Um, you've got your net, you've got your natural environment there, and a lot of the canoeists and so forth say, you know, we're obstructing their playground. Uh, that's fine, I respect that. You've got a natural environment. We're not going to be desecrating that environment. This is the thing. The Greens put out this vision to people that we're going to go in there and annihilate it and destroy it um, and detract from it, and it's not at all. We do not have to damage the environment that's there. We can capture a resource and turn it into positive energy, which has got to be a good thing. But in the past... Nobody pushed back against the sentiment of um, either your sports people or your, you know, your journal and junkies or your greens. Uh, nobody pushed back. Everybody said, "Oh, well, they've got a stronger word, so we'll, you know, we'll back off." And of course, we didn't have a government that supported it either. Well, that was the other thing because in August 2019, David Parker, who was the Environment Minister, he actually declined West Power Limited's. Um suggestion to construct and operate uh, the scheme on the Waidaha River. Uh, he said so because he said the area is largely unmodified by humans, it's near to pristine and yet it's accessible for recreation, valued for its natural beauty and wilderness qualities for recreation and the project would have significantly undermined the area's intrinsic values which people experience when they tramp and kayak there. So let me get this right. Trampers and kayakers were considered more important than economic generation um, of jobs and electricity on the west coast. Correct. That must have one word. Off. Correct. It very that much so. It, it really did. It did for the whole of the coast. It was like you know, why can these people? What right do they have to hold us to ransom? Those kayakers are not in there every week of every year. They might go in there two or three times a year. And there's not a huge amount of them because it is quite, it's a white water environment. So you need a certain skill level to go in there. Um, hikers, it's not the easiest place to get into. So you haven't got, um, it's not your, it's not your Piparoa track. It's not your Hefe track. So again, you haven't got a huge, um, user base for that environment. Um, on the coast, we're very well aware of the natural environment we live in and we love it. We respect it and we will do everything we can to protect it. When you've got a resource there that you can capture, you capture it without damaging or annihilating the environment that that resource is in. And that is how yeah. the is, but we're not given that opportunity. But, you know, there's plenty of hydro dams in this country, and if there weren't hydro dams in this country, we'd be in the shtuk, as you know. Yep. Yep. Um, and they are everywhere. Listen, I, I live in Cromwell. Well, Lake Dunstan created um, here yep. uh, for the Clyde um, Dam. There are, of course, the Waitaki dams, Aviemore, Benmore, Waitaki, the lakes that have been created as a consequence. There are uh, hydro schemes on the Waikato River. I mean, why why is West Coast considered more important than those other areas that also had natural beauty but the greater needs of the country prevailed? Well, I, I don't I don't know. I can't speak on behalf of the of the previous government because I mean, you know, eighty four percent of the West Coast sits in conservation estate. Uh, 30% of that is stewardship land. I, you, what their master plan was from the coast, we used to sort of semi-joke about it. Jimmy took it seriously that the ultimate thing was to close the coast off altogether. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. know. It, 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 why else? I mean, we're importing the dirtiest coal in the world when we produce some of the cleanest on the coast. Yeah, yeah. Where's the yeah it makes no there? sense. We've got a, no, I, I agree with we've you. We've got the hydro opportunity, and, and what are we doing? We're saying, no, you can't. And yep. there's, just, there's been no common sense whatsoever. The resources are here. We can capture them without ruining the environment. 
you know, the, the, the coast could become quite a backbone to the New Zealand economy if it's allowed. And, it, you know, at the moment, and you'll agree with this, we need all the help we can get for this economy to pull us out of the position we're in currently. Um, the other thing is that all three mayors, I think, are united on the project and its benefits uh, and uh, your regional council as well. Um, yep. So is there any opposition within your community to projects like no. this? Oh, uh, yes, you will. There will be a small amount of, of opposition, mainly from, say, the users, the few users we have that live on the coast that use it for kayaking, um, and also, you know, the, the people that are sort of leaning on that green side. Um, they're not happy, but the I would say probably over eighty percent of the community, and that's from um, Haas through to Buller, support it. And in Westland, mm. I would say it's probably well into the nineties that ninety percent of the population would support it. Okay, um, now just to, have you had any contact from the government at all, or have you just been relying upon media reports as to uh, the fast tracking legislation? No, no, we put this forward um, for fast tracking. We've put uh, a few things forward to the government. We also produced a quite an extensive document um, between all councils and the regional council on um, key things that that if if we could get access to on the coast, we could actually generate considerable income for the New Zealand economy. Uh, it would mean the coast could actually survive. You know, instead of putting its hand out for a hand up, this would give us enable us a hand up. Um, we've had we've put a lot of work into uh, producing quite a substantial document to the government on just key points. We haven't gone flamboyant. We're just on key strategic points that would open the door uh, for the coast for the betterment in, in the future of the coast, but also to the New Zealand economy. So no, we are in communication with them, uh, and we're following up on this. It's not a matter of sending something off. We've put forward. Um, We've put forward uh, components for the fast tracking aspect, um, as well as the overall project. So the White House and two, it's in, you know, betterment of the West Coast economy. What we can, what we can stage immediately, and we've also put the White Hydro through for fast tracking as well. 